Hello, my name is Mike Perone, and I'm speaking to you today on behalf of the New Jersey Foundation for Open Government. Today, many record custodians are faced with providing data in electronic form, a task which may seem daunting, but can in most cases be satisfied very easily with a little bit of training and some free software. Let's say that you are faced with providing a vendor history report in electronic format, but have only ever provided such a report as a paper document before. So long as your software gives you the flexibility to select a printer, you can create the electronic version in nearly the same fashion as you would provide the paper report. Here's how. First, you need to download some free software. Of course, you should check with your information technology professional before installing any software on your workstations, but you shouldn't have too much difficulty obtaining permission for this software. It is virus and malware free and can be obtained at no charge by going to the pdf995.com website, as you see before you. Once you get there, you want to click on the Downloads button, as I am now, and you'll see a window that says PDF 995 two-step download. There are two files that you need to download. You need to download the PDF 995 printer driver, which is the first one, the top one I'm downloading now. And I'm just going to save that. And then also you want to download the free converter. It takes about a minute normally, depending on, on your broadband speeds. Download both files save both files, and install both programs. I'm going to double click directly on the ps2pdf995.exe program. I'm using Vista, so I'll be asked if I'm sure I want to continue, and I do. The free conversion module installs, and then we have to install the PDF printer driver, which is the PDF995S. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to close that window. And we'll install the other program. Continue. Once both programs are installed, you now have a new printer icon called PDF-995. The PDF-995 printer driver allows you to take any file that you would send to a printer and instead send it to a PDF document or an Adobe Reader document, which is a standard format. There we go. So both have been installed. And if I go to my control panel, and go to printers, you'll see now that I have a PDF 995 printer. That printer can be used as you would use any other printer. So for example, let's open up Word. and go to print. And you'll see that I have the PDF 995 printer. Now, you may come up with your default printer, whatever it is, Microsoft XPS, whatever. You want to click on the down arrow and select and make sure that you've picked the PDF 995 printer. Once you click OK, the, uh, the program will automatically take that printed output that would normally go to a printer and give you a screen much like this where you can name the document that you want to create. It's a good idea to name the document in a way that is meaningful. So since this we're pretending that this is a vendor history, I would name the document vendor history. Even better if you want to name the document with a date. 2009-08-03. Now I know that I've done a vendor history report as a PDF document, and I did it on August 3rd, 2009. I usually, when I save the document, I save it to the desktop, 
because it's the easiest place to find the document. Now, in my case, my antivirus software is asking me if I want to allow this, and I'm allowing it through. You'll see that there is a, uh, an advertisement. The advertisement is, is there in the free software. You don't need to have the advertisement nagging you each time. If you, if you want to uh, pay the $9.95, you'll never need to be uh, nagged at again. And you'll see it shows us the PDF document. And if I close all the windows up, um, we'll just click that out of the way. There's a little advertisement that comes up. Here's our document right in the center of the screen. And I didn't actually put anything in the document. And of course, you can use this with any software, any Windows software that allows you to print. Now all that remains is to either write the PDF to some electronic media or to email it to the requester. It's important to note that the PDF file created will not be a scanned PDF, so the data contained in the file can easily be moved to another format, such as ASCII or to an Excel spreadsheet, and it should satisfy most OPA requesters' desire for machine-readable data quite handily. The wonderful thing is that you need only install the printer driver once, and you may use it as often as you like thereafter. The free version of the program will nag you with the browser window, as I showed, uh, and I do occasionally look at that because they have a variety of products that are occasionally pretty interesting. You can, of course, choose to purchase the printer driver for $9.95 one time and eliminate those annoying screens. Now that you know how to create reports in electronic format, why not post them to your website? With any luck, you can direct future requests there and save the time it would take to go through the process again. For more information, go to the njfog.org website.